Top of the wall. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Hi. Oh dear. <laughs> Hi. How are you? <laughs> ah, it's the morning. Good morning. <laughs> you sound tired, probably because I am. <laughs> I happened to have a stream earlier this morning. <laughs> uh, I am very sleepy. I slept in a little longer. Um, than I. than I wanted to. <laughs> I, I usually want to wake up an hour before the stream starts, but I slept in an extra 30 minutes, so sorry if my voice didn't warm up fully yet. <clears throat> I'm sure it will. By the middle of the stream. <laughs> yeah, it was it was very early, but uh, thank you guys for your tuning in. I hope you guys had fun and enjoying all the uh, Lumisi content so far. <laughs> ah. Well, sorry for being super late, but I want to say happy anniversary. You know, having been able to catch live streams these past couple of months because of RRL reasons. I always have a blast catching up the archives. Thank you for always working so hard for us. No, thank you for coming to watch. Watch my streams. Makes me happy. <laughs> Let me see, collab was fun. Looking forward to the surprise tomorrow. Oh, yes. The, um, the final. I don't know if it's the final, final, but the fourth episode of Umisi. The manga video is being uploaded later tonight, so... I guess early morning... Later tonight... Early morning tomorrow! <laughs> early morning tomorrow, so please look forward to it. Mm. And then the, uh... Surprise after. I wonder what it could be! <laughs> the thrilling conclusion, indeed. What will happen to Umisi? Hmm. <laughs> Hi, Ina. I'm your biggest fan. It's my birthday, so can I get a happy birthday from you? Oi, your name says otherwise. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But happy birthday! I hope you have a good one. <laughs> it's okay. I know. I know the feeling of a good. I know the feeling of a daddy de mutaiski, a didi. Hello, Didi. I see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Happy anniversary! Looking forward to another year of fun memories. Thank you! Oh yeah, one of the things I wanted to talk about like during the anniversary stream was actually uh, Umisi, but you know, we weren't announced yet, so I was waiting. <laughs> yeah, it's been a very, very fun experience. Mm. Yeah. It's like... <laughs> how did I feel to voice act? Um... Not the greatest voice actor, especially in English. <laughs> it's because anything I, I watched recently, it's uh... It's usually um... What should I say? It's usually in Japanese, because I, I just... Don't have time to watch anything other than like... The seasonal anime. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a big... Big otaku. Otako. <laughs> so... Anything voice acting, in English especially, it's uh... Yeah. But maybe, maybe my, me being very textbook is part of the fun. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> Understandable, have a very <laughs> oh. mm. Not going to sleep. Good night, good night. Sleep tight. Sleep well. Actually, I feel like I had a um. I had a dream, but it kind of felt like real. Like it's one of those. Dreams that you feel like you... 
like it's so realistic that you think it's real and then you wake up you kind of forget about it but then you're just like wait a minute was that was that real or was that a dream like later down the road hmm. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> you know, can you give me the coordinates for your underwater cringe library? I promise I won't post any on, on social media. <clears throat> Forgetty Beam! You've now forgotten all about the cringe library. Wow! <laughs> Yes, the forgetty beam. That's right. <sighs> Have a great day, uh, evening, and enjoy your weekend. You too! <laughs> you guys all forgot. Yeah. Glad you and Gunnar are enjoying yourself with the Umi Stick collab and happy anniversary. Looking forward to what's to come. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> Who am I? <laughs> but yeah, um, I think, to be honest, you know, the whole experience, I think, for everyone involved, like the staff, um, Marie Senpai, Kosenpai, Gura, and I, like, it's kind of like a let's try this out kind of thing, you know? Um, yeah, because it's really... Like, I know that people really enjoy, like, listening to, uh, Marie Senpai, Ako Senpai, um, speaking English and, like, Gura speaking Japanese and me just struggling with both. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, sometimes it's, it's really, you know, everyone is really nervous before the collab because we don't know, like, how well it will go and how well we can communicate and... Sometimes, like, if you speak too much of one language, you can't understand... Like, so there's someone who can't understand all of it. And for me... <laughs> okay, I call this... I call this the, uh... The, uh... Listener... Listener syndrome. Listener syndrome. Because, uh... For me... When I... When I collab with other, uh... Hall Life members, especially the JP branch... Um... I am so used to... I'm so used to hearing them just listening to them as like a... As like a fan. Without actually interacting with them that... You know, when I hear their voice and they're talking, I'm just... My brain is just like, oh yeah, I'm watching a stream, so I'm just like... Blank. <laughs> and then I'm just like, but wait, wait, no, I need, I need to talk back to them. <laughs> That's the, uh, listener syndrome. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a little difficult, I gotta say. But, um... It's, uh, it's a work in progress. Especially since, uh... With Umisi, um... I... I... I, I feel like I should have done a better job trying to... Uh... Trying to translate things on the fly, but... At the same time, like, I wanted to hear uh, Marie Senpai and Aqua Senpai speak more, speak more English too, so. Yeah. Rather than my, you know, my half. <laughs> half correct translations, it might have been better for, uh, you know, them to try and communicate. Because for me, uh, they, they're actually always worried that their uh, English uh, doesn't. Like, we can't understand their English, but... I'm, I'm very good at deciphering English, <laughs> I guess. So I understood everything they said in English too, so... I was hoping, you know, they'd get more practice speaking. Even if it's with, uh, Deepal. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good at no boy. Hmm. English is very flexible, yeah. <laughs> it was perfectly understandable to you guys too, right? I think <laughs> I'm fluent in more English. Yeah. But yeah. I think it's been fun overall though. I had a lot of fun uh finally 
uh, collabing with them, so... Hmm. I know, I know it can be stressful, but I hope it can lead to... More collabs in the future. For Kuro, too. I know she's trying really hard. To communicate as well, so... Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I watched the collab earlier today and the third UMIC video afterwards. Now I have to know how does one buy or find your... Hmm? I wanted to ask something, but I forgot. Oh well. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ina, it's my birthday tomorrow. Could you grace us with a dad joke in celebration, pretty please? Oh. I don't know. The thing about dad jokes is that for me... It comes naturally during the conversation. A strike of inspiration. A strike of inspiration. <laughs> but happy birthday! Happy birthday. Ah, uh, what should I do with that too? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. <laughs> Inspiration is the best I can do right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not enough. Okay, how about this? I I dedicate the next really good pun to to you. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, I hope I'm not catching a cold. <laughs> I know we're slowly, slowly moving into the uh, autumn. And usually, okay, so for me, uh, no matter what, it's like, uh, it's like the, uh, I always catch a cold when I'm switching from summer to winter or like winter to spring. And usually my, my nose is like not as plugged <laughs> if I start talking, but, um, it's still there, so I wonder if it's just a dust or if I'm catching a cold. It's one or the other. And the winter, usually I, I I just feel like my nose is always plugged up during the winter, so can't be out. It's pretty normal, yeah. It's a season change thing. I'm trying to <laughs> the autumn allergies. <laughs> I'm trying to stay as like warm and like as possible. But sometimes when I sleep, I just kick my blankets off, so. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Join the club, I know it was a lot of good. I might have been very entertaining, but I really enjoyed seeing you there. Your presence there worked. Ah, oh, I'm glad to hear so. <laughs> Usually when when uh when there's someone else to take like the uh initiative in the collab, I usually just fall back and do support here and there, so <laughs> Not plus the, the listener syndrome, you know. It's hard to balance it with the talking. <laughs> mm. Ah. Yeah. For me, I think in any kind of uh, group situations, if if someone needs to step up, I will do my best. But usually, I, I think I, I do a better job in the... Uh, Support department. <laughs> hmm. Like especially with uh when when um I mean I was setting up for the um the VR anniversary stuff. Um I haven't done much VR stuff before, but you know, I, I usually am okay with the normal troubleshooting technical stuff like the plug in the USB here and there kind of stuff, so uh I may, I may did a really good job helping everyone, walking everyone through setting up VR and stuff and showing us around. But, um, yeah. I don't think I did that much support work. Like, tech support work. Otherwise, um, yeah. <laughs> but, but if anyone, anyone needs help with just here, stuff here and there, I, I'll be there, yeah. <laughs> I'm not a tech with it. I'm not a, more of a... I try things out so I know how things do or like... What happens if you do this and that. 
and maybe it'll be helpful for someone else. <laughs> yeah. I miss it. I was a big help. I don't know I was a big help. I was just there. <laughs> I was just there, you know. Speaking of the VR stuff, um, actually, like I think I'm gonna talk about it. How everything was very last minute. Um, I ordered, I ordered the um, the uh, which one was it? Which one is the uh, Steam one? Steam. Index, index. Yeah, I actually ordered the index, right? But um, but FedEx lost it. <laughs> we we were last minute um ordering our VR stuff, and we're like, oh, we should it should hopefully arrive on time. And so I ordered it, and um, and uh, FedEx lost. <laughs> I'm still I'm still contacting FedEx. Um, trying to trying to see where the uh, packages and so I think with like two days to spare um, <laughs> Amazon Amazon stepped up and uh, delivered delivered a vibe on time so we didn't have to um, cancel it or move it or had just have me as a as a cardboard figure uh, yeah <laughs> Amazon stepped up but it, uh, it was a uh, <laughs> It was a... It was a pricey, pricey compromise. <laughs> but, um... Th thanks to, thanks to you guys, it was, it was definitely doable. <laughs> much, much appreciated. Mm. Amazon came in clutch, it really did. <laughs> yeah. But, um... I'm pretty sure when I went downstairs, uh, before to grab some coffee, I saw... I saw I saw a package downstairs. I didn't check what it is. It might it might be the index. <laughs> it might be the index. I hope it's the index. I don't know what to do with it though. Like, do I do I uh, <laughs> do I refund it or do I keep it? I don't know. Uh, I I do get quite a lot of packages. Um, so hopefully. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the index is pretty good, even with like the uh, the finger tracking and stuff with the controllers. So maybe I can dual wield. Maybe I can put the VR on top of the VR. <laughs> Honestly, though, um, I know, I know. Uh, like when I was setting up VR, my niece was like peeking through the door. She was like, "Ina, what's that? Ina, what's that?" <laughs> Can I try it? So maybe maybe my money will be interested in the VR. <laughs> uh, she just she was also laughing at me when uh cause before we did the extra stream, I think like a day before, while well, I was actually setting up VR, um I was uh I was testing stuff out with Ame. She was showing me around the map and stuff. And uh my money was just standing there watching me flail around. <laughs> She said she watched the collab though, um, at least some clips. She was like, you guys are so cute. <laughs> Especially when you were uh, dancing around on the stage <laughs> together. <laughs> she was like, Ina, you cried. Ina, cry baby. I'm just like, you knew that already. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah. Thanks, Tina. That'll work. I love your dad jokes, even if <laughs> something bad jokes coming from non father is a bit fox paw. That's a multilingual pun, isn't it? <laughs> but yeah, Mama Niece has known for me to be a crybaby since I was little, for lack of better term. I would like to uh, rephrase it as a. Uh, <laughs> uh, in touch with my emotions. <laughs> no, um, to be honest, to be honest, uh, I do have a very, very weak tear duct, which I, I, uh, I name my ceiling. 
my ceiling breaks quite easily. <laughs> so, uh, honestly though, I think there's nothing wrong with crying. Because... Um, I feel like it's kind of like, you know, when you're, when you're, uh, when your mind is telling you, you know, you just have a lot of emotions and you just need it to overflow. That's when, that's when you cry. But happy tears are good, I think. Um, I think the anniversary one was definitely happy tears. <laughs> um, that I was able to do something really, really memorable with everyone. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Crying keeps you emotionally healthy. I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> just know that I think whenever I do cry, I I, I do. <laughs> it means I just I just I just feel that emotion in that moment, like the overwhelming feels of that moment. <laughs> huh. Yeah. But I guess I don't really, um... I don't cry in front of strangers. So if I do cry in front of people, it just means that... I'm, I'm used to you guys. <laughs> usually, usually out in the public with a lot of, a lot of people watching, I'm just like... I'm cool. But then, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'm a very professional taco out in the public. But when I'm with, uh... When I'm with friends, amongst friends... Maybe. Not so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I heard... I think I heard Umisi collab for the first time a few days ago. Umisi alerted on two collab streams and three animations. It's cute to see Ina's dubbing skills gradually increase as the animation episode progresses. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Umisi, why you think? Today's pun. Ina plus Ina equals... Okay, so <laughs> the pun Ina plus Ina equals Sana. E Ina, the E means two. <laughs> and Sana Sa means four. <laughs> so two plus two is <laughs> I don't know, I think. <clears throat> I think in the uh, in the chess department, even if you add two inas, I don't end up being a sana. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> I don't know though. Maybe in the uh, brain cell department, and uh, two two inas is greater than sana. Maybe. <laughs> who knows? Who knows? Mm. <clears throat> the anniversary stream was amazing, even if it had some scuffs. <laughs> I hope we get more 3D collabs in the future. Oh yeah, a lot of it was uh, Ame doing the heavy lifting, you know? She was doing the camera work, the audio work, setting everything up, commissioning all the people, like... Yeah. <laughs> I really wish I was, I was more helpful, but... Yeah, I, w I was just there. I was like, yeah, if you need help, I'm here. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, being able to come up with the ideas and actually carry them through. Because a lot of the times, I think you guys will agree. Um, coming up with an idea is one thing. And actually carrying them out um, is another and actually being able to do successfully is another two actually. So and uh Ame is able to do that. I know she's she's always thinking about uh, new projects and something different as well, so um I think yeah. 
I want to be... I know I'm not very good at, you know, coming up with new ideas and stuff, but... Um, I really like supporting those who do. <laughs> with any way I can, like doing other background research or like um, tech support if like someone else needs help setting things up. So, yeah. Hmm. She put a lot into the work, and uh, I know she got. <laughs> I know she got kind of sick afterwards. So I hope she's getting a lot of rest. <laughs> yeah, it's a team effort. Mm. Yeah, that's the thing about um, whole life myth that I really like is that when it when it comes time to do something like bring something to to fruition, um, I think everyone really does a lot. Like everyone puts in their all to uh, make it happen. So I'm really really proud of where uh, like how far we all came in the one year. Hmm. And I'm uh, thankful that uh, management allowed us to carry this through. <laughs> it really was last minute. Um, we were we were worrying we can get everything in time, but like even the um, the people who worked on to do all the modeling and the, uh, the maps and the models and and the VR chat team like last minute really really stepped up and helped us all. So really, everyone's really grateful for uh, everyone's hard work. Don't cry either. I'm not crying today. No no ceiling leaking today. Mm. <laughs> but yeah, it all worked out in the end. Mm. Yeah, like uh VR chat team apparently was like on standby to help us uh whenever we, we needed something adjusted and stuff too, so big big thanks to them. I hope we can do more fun things with you guys in the future VR chat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. I think like the um, I know the 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 small small uh, models were <laughs> were created beforehand, but um, the map too. Like uh, Seafoam Boy really, really, really did a good job. Like um. What should I say? Ame was giving us updates on every time um, the maps are being made, right? And um, yeah, like every time I saw an update, I was like, wait, are these really being made from scratch? Because they're so, so high quality. Like, absolutely amazing job with the map, too. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. <laughs> hmm. It really, I guess, it also like really inspired me to like try, uh, try making stuff in three D again too. Ah, see, phone boy. <laughs> amazing job! Thank you, thank you so much for uh, the hard work. It's like so. I just like when I first. Like, it's one thing just seeing, like, the screenshots that Ame sends us, but, like, actually being in there in, like, VR, like, looking around, like, like, there's so much details added into everyone's rooms, like, absolutely amazing. Also, after when I was looking at the tweets, you were <laughs> talking about, um, the out of bounds. <laughs> that's, that's really fun. <laughs> I also kind of remember, uh, uh, sometimes in other games, um, people were able to find out of bound areas that you can go to. <laughs> and, uh, fr friends and I used to try to find those places and go there. But, uh, yeah. I don't think you were allowed to be there, but, you know, it's, it's part of the fun. <laughs> Especially with 3Ds and stuff. Hmm. But yeah, I hope there's a lot of fun things to be done in the future. Mm. Oh, congrats on the anniversary. Let me see. What is Myth planning on doing with console collab and ending? 
And have you planned a one-on-one -on -one yet? Also, Kiara mentioned the EN portal is in the works as well, right? Yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I think... Uh, I don't know, I don't know when I will do the portal building. I, th I don't think we might be doing... We might not be able to do like a full-on really, like the JP side did. But I think we were just popping on to uh, see if we can build um, whenever we can. I definitely want to do um, like a, like the well. <laughs> As I talked about, you know, my, my otaku self really wants that well. But uh, we'll see where everyone wants to build the portal first. And um, I think the thing is... Uh, when when uh, when they mentioned how to get out of the well, I was thinking, you know, um, an idea actually from yesterday when the um, the entrance and the exit were different. <laughs> so I was wondering if the entrance to the JP server could be the well, but when they when they when they come over, it could be like a different uh, exit, I guess. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Enter will be the Tori gate. I don't know if people want to use the Tori gate. The Tori gate actually, I already kind of like made the fireworks stuff, so I probably have to get rid of that. <laughs> uh, I probably need to build a bridge from there to the land because I think swimming over is kind of kind of a pain. <laughs> it has to be vertical. Ah, if it has to be vertical, then uh. I'm sure we can just like create some sort of uh some sort of gate somewhere. <laughs> no wait, but isn't like I don't know. Isn't the uh the waterway going up like horizontal technically? I forget. <laughs> mm hmm Yeah. I stayed up all night to catch the Umi stick collab and sleep was worth the sacrifice. I'm so happy for the collab because Aqua is my Oshi! And you and the Ian girls are my new fan favorites. <gasps> Hope to see more seafood soup collab in the future. Thank you! <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Aqua Senpai is so cute. <laughs> it's like, I love seeing the, the interaction between uh, Marine Senpai and Aqua Senpai. Like the... the Back and forth between the two. <laughs> Aqua and Marine. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Bow, bow, bow. Oh, now that you have a VR setup, would you one day draw something in Google to brush in 3D? I think it'd be a cool stream to watch. Actually, I was thinking about that. Thanks for the reminder. Let me write that down in the notepad. I can, I can ask for permission. <laughs> no, no, not fresh. Yeah, maybe that'll be a good way to test out the index if I open up the index. <laughs> Honestly, for me, it's like... As much as I wanna just get the refund on stuff, like... It's such a pain to send back packages. <laughs> it's such a pain. Mm. Ah. It's like, I quite like the vibe, but maybe uh, it'll be okay to keep it. Because <laughs> it already has a... Uh, ina, ina grade tears into the... Soaked into the cushion of the VR. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't think I can return the index. Or not the index, um, the vibe. <laughs> uh, yep. Yeah. We will get you guys to do the real 3D clap soon. Yeah, I hope one day. One day. I know, I know it's not uh, as possible right now, but we're hoping one day. One day. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna do the one everyone can meet up safe and sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nom 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 nom. 
Should be hollow en with Wolfie and the climax the seafoam boy was so great. I'm looking forward to how the Chibi Hollow Inn would develop more in the future. Yeah, I hope I hope we can do more fun things. I know, I know, um, our real 3D hasn't been uh, hasn't been uh, done yet, but we can do fun stuff with the with the Chibi Small Hollow Inn. So yeah, <laughs> give the five to Mama and Annie's. Actually, I think actually um, now that I think about it, Annie's talked about. Uh, next time she visits, like she wants to take us to like one of those like VR, um, what do you call it? VR cafe, VR game place. But then now that now that we have next year, well, maybe, VR arcade, arcade. That's what you call it, arcade. Yeah, she wants to take us to the VR arcade. But now that we have a VR at home, we can just do it at home. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I actually tried out um a little bit of um what's it? A little bit of the uh Beat Saver off stream. <laughs> and uh my my left controller on the five kept losing connection. <laughs> I kept missing the notes and failing the song. I was like, no. <laughs> maybe, maybe the uh, index will be uh, a bit better. <laughs> yeah. I might have set up the uh, the what's it? The lighthouse is a little little wonky. So next time I set up VR, I probably will do a better job. Mm. Yeah, I kept trying to recalibrate, but it didn't work as well. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know I know it might not be possible to play like custom songs and stuff in Meat Saver, but it'd be fun to do a stream. You know what? Cause I sometimes like watch like the Beat Saver streams where they have like their uh their models like dancing along with it. Like with full body tracking, that seemed really fun. But I gotta say it though, um, you know, I always just thought about one day owning like a VR set with like full body tracking, but um, I never really thought about getting it until, or I, I guess I couldn't really like bring myself to buy it because I feel like I wouldn't use it as much. <laughs> but um, it's really thanks to you guys that um, it really was possible, so. Oh yeah, super hot VR, definitely. Um, I wanted to play it, so... Uh, maybe after I set up the index, I can uh, plan it. Mm. Yeah. Super hot. Soup. Hot soup. <laughs> I meant soup. Yeah. Could try some horror VR. <laughs> I think, I think we wanted to, like, try some, like... Um, horror VR stuff for like Halloween maybe? We can do a big collab with it. Like, Phasmophobia or something. But I'm kinda scared for VR horror games cause like... Like I feel like I'm gonna jump and like bump into stuff. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. You know sometimes when you, when you guys see me being surprised in game... You know how I like shake the... <laughs> shake the screen? Shake my mouth from being surprised. I hope I don't like overreact. Hmm. Fear Phasma is no joke. <laughs> I don't know. It's cause like okay, the thing is like I'm okay with walking in the dark because my eyes adjust to the dark really fast. Hmm. And so um. And so like I'm okay with walking around in the dark, but. Uh, not in VR, because my eyes technically don't adjust to the dark there, right? <laughs> Night Owl perks, yeah, so... Um, kind of scared, but... I hope the... I hope the um, presence of the other EN members can, can keep me company. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> 
So bad alien isolation does not proper view. I feel like I probably will be scarred for life if I if I uh if I play alien isolation VR or outlast VR. Or if there's like what uh, amnesia VR, I just no, no. <laughs> no 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 no. Ah no 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 no. I can't do it, I can't. <laughs> It's just suffering. So much suffering. Ina, you haven't touched your donuts. Oh. Do not remind me. Nyaa. Ow. Ah. I actually don't have real donuts. I'm sad. <laughs> and not during the, um... During the anniversary streams, I actually had donuts, but... These ones are just... Taste like pixels. <laughs> Maybe later. <laughs> Maybe later. Yeah. What about cucumber beer? Now! Oh. Nah! <laughs> Cover reflective surfaces like glass and mirror. Um... I don't have any. <laughs> my room is literally just... My monitors, my desk... And books. <laughs> it's just those. Yeah, I don't have any mirrors. No bed. <laughs> Actually, speaking of the bed, um... Because I was sleeping in uh, the guest bedroom. And, uh... One time I, like, I like turned off my PC. I was like, ah, it's time to go to bed. And then... I I saw my bed and there was a... There was a mama and he's sleeping in it. I was like... Oh, why? <laughs> you have your own bed and stop sleeping in my bed. So I got, I got, I got kicked off to the basement and I slept on the couch. <laughs> I think, I think, I think she saw that I was still in my room. So she was like, oh yeah, I'll surprise her by, 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 uh, staying in her bed. I'll leave when she comes here. But then she fell asleep. <laughs> hmm. So I was like, I just grabbed my pillow and some blankets and I went downstairs to the basement. <laughs> and I think like, as I was about to fall asleep on the couch, Mama Nisa was like, Ina! Ina, where'd you go? Ina! <laughs> I was like, hmm, I'm sleeping on the couch. <laughs> yeah. That was funny. <laughs> Ina, don't go! And she was like, peeing. She came to like, tuck me in. I was like, fine, I'll go back to my own bed. <laughs> yeah, Mama Nis is so cute. I like teasing her a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> Ina, Ina! Ina, Ina. Oh. Hi, Ina. Things were hard for me during the past years, but I want to give big thanks to Holia for getting my motivation to translate again. <gasps> I've been practicing my skills at Hollow Ian streams. Now I got a job at a big corporation. Thank you, Ian, for the motivation. Congrats. So proud of you. I know, like, learning languages and translating could be difficult, but. I think it's worth it in the end. Um, it's a very transferable skill. Languages. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, Ina. Hope everything is good still. Uh, loving Umisi. My question, since you referenced it several times since your debut. Any chance for a Kingdom Hearts stream? I would love to see you play it. Uh, as much as I would love to play Kingdom Hearts, I assume... <laughs> 
I assume permissions will be very difficult. At one point is a uh, on one side is Disney and the other side is uh Square Enix. So <laughs> Yeah. It's a very difficult uh, game to get permissions for. <laughs> the door to Kingdom Hearts. Very difficult to find. Yumiki? <laughs> oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was I was hoping that like um I'd be able to play uh what's it expansion for FF14. Even if it's off stream, but right now I'm not too sure because <laughs> it's gonna be uh it's been so busy. <laughs> Yeah, in Walker, but it's been busy, so I don't. I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Mm. Yeah. Sometimes I was I was looking back to some old memories, and I had some fun fun memories, but. Mm. <laughs> I haven't been keeping up with any any news or anything, but um. I definitely want to find time sometime in the future to at least check out the, uh, the new, new class. Got the, I mean, s Sage. Now oh, my funnels. <laughs> mm. The Reaper. <laughs> it would have been interesting to see, uh, Callie if she ever played FF14 to play Reaper. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder I wonder what, what like the scholars are gonna get. Last time they took away our dots. What next? Our fairies. Royal What next? <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh. <laughs> oh yeah. Ah. It took away Celine. <laughs> it was fun during the uh during the uh fun times when I uh try to I guess like RTA in a way. Some of the some of the raids. Those are fun times. <laughs> Used to do some like like planning global cooldowns and Celine for parts of the fight with Eos in some parts and yeah, good good memories. <laughs> progression is really fun. Uh, blind progression is fun when when you get to like try to optimize your uh, healer stuff. <laughs> hmm. Sorry, I'm I'm going into I'm going into FF14 boomer. Boomer mode. <laughs> Back in my days of Final Fantasy fourteen, he had the toggle cleric stance. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. Anyways, back to back to talk. Umisi is such a fun, interesting group to watch interact. Hope you had a uh, fun off-screen interaction as well. That you can talk about while preparing for the short and collapse. Hmm. <laughs> I think mostly it was just um like uh Sencho. Always like to like try and um, 
No, it was just like the stream where she wants to like... Um... Uh... Speak to us in English so she would... She would say what she would... Um... Want to say in Japanese out loud... Out loud while she was... Um... Uh, while she was... Uh... Translating onto Deep Bell. <laughs> so I understood... Uh, what she was talk, what she wanted to talk about, and then she would, she would say it in English. I was like, oh, I love, I love when when she tries to speak English. I really, I love my English. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, uh, oh yeah, and her yabe synergy. <laughs> Actually, seeing like Gura going oya oh oya oh mode is like, it's different. It's a it's a sort of different dynamic than what I usually see her doing in uh, Ian. <laughs> when she goes oh yeah oh yeah mood. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> I'm glad she likes the Oya Oya. <laughs> yeah. Gura has awakened. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hyena, since you're a big fan of FF14, what are your tips on farming the Kamui mounts? Struggling hard. Kamui? It's Kamui the Togos. <laughs> My, uh... My mount farming stopped at the birds. <laughs> ah, usually my... My tip actually is to actually farm them while... While others are farming a lot, like... Like when the... When the primals are relevant, like... So that you can kill two birds with one stone. Getting gear for other classes and getting the dogo. I know it might take longer, but usually people um, like to go hard on farming mounts. Um, sometimes do that early on, so... <laughs> if it's unsynced, I mean, I feel like... I don't know, for me, when I... Sorry, I'm going back to FF14 <laughs> talk, but... Um, <laughs> for me, I had more fun farming the fights um, when there was more to do during the fight. I know it might take longer, but... Um, <laughs> But uh, rather than just blindly going and hitting it for like two minutes, getting out, going and hitting it for two minutes and going out, like actually fun to you know play it when there's more mechanics to do. <laughs> At least that's how I felt. Mm. Mindless grinding got boring for me, so that's why I guess I really enjoyed Sophia was because the fight itself was super fun. To um, to go in like randomly on Raid Finder too. <laughs> Sophia is a fun fight because back in the day, it was um, as long as you had one healer alive being able to do the mechanics, you can bring everyone back to life with healer LB3. So, yeah. Sophia was the one I farmed like more than 300 totems <laughs> back in the day. But those are, those are. Times when a raid finder was a thing. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Mm. Ultimate? Uh... Uh... <sighs> oh, nice weather. Um, today? You know, I, I, I like how the UMIC videos you have have great for kids stop energy. <laughs> Thank you. Guna <laughs> uh, has her eyes on the prize and she's relentless. She's the uh, apex predator. She has her eyes on the uh, eyes on the prize. She's gonna go for it. Dedicated shark. <laughs> if Hollow Life Ian Myth was Sailor Moon characters, which one do you think each member would be? Ah, oh, that's a good question. 
That's a good question. Hmm. I feel like I'd be, uh... I feel like I'd be the tuxedo mask. Because I jump in. <laughs> I do nothing and I leave. My job here is done. I go, oh yeah, oh yeah, with the rose in my mouth. <laughs> ah. Good eyes, Chippy Moon. <laughs> but I'm gonna be Usagi then. Ah. Color wise, she fits. <laughs> Mars. <laughs> I mean, she she pulls through when when things need be, you know, right? Ame is one of the bad guys. <laughs> Ame would be Mercury or Mars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kelly is Mars. I don't know. I think a lot of people can fit into different ones. Hmm. Usagi... Actually, actually, Kiara, it's, uh... I think Kiara has the, like, the Genki... Upbeat energy... As Usagi. I can see that. <laughs> Mercury... Is Ina. Did my dad say so? <laughs> I don't know, I like the mean potential of Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> oh, or I can be the cat. I forgot her name. Was it, was it Luna? <laughs> it's been a while since I watched Sailor Moon. Mm -hmm. Not to be mistaken for Nanora. <laughs> Neko Nanora. <laughs> Yeah. Not very say so, but more say so than the rest. <laughs> Maybe. Nah. Luna Senpai is so cute. I want to collab with her one day. But I'm, I'm kind of scared of my Japanese level. Because <laughs> I was actually watching uh, Pekora Senpai. Uh, Touring the Ian server with Kiara yesterday after after the Umi C collab. And uh it, it kinda felt like you know when like when like the teacher checks your homework and she like walks around the class and like looks at looks at what like the class made over the summer or something and she's like, mm, yeah, this is good, this is very good. <laughs> it kinda felt like that. I was like I was like I was like when she was visiting my house, I was like, Oh, she's checking my house, she's checking my homework. <laughs> It kind of felt like that, didn't it? <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, homework. <laughs> there it is! There's the pun! Yeah, but... but Kiara says my, my Japanese is good, but, you know, I'm still not very, uh... Still not very... Very good, I think. I don't know that many words. <laughs> Ah, Pekora sensei, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I think I pretend to be good and then like when it comes to words I don't know, I'm just like uh Google <laughs> I am not Jozu. I am Kusoheta. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I think I, I just wing it till I make it. But recently, when I have... When I have, like, casual conversations, like... Um, I think I use less Google. Um, but... Definitely... Do my best with... With trying not to rely on Google. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yo, <laughs> 
がとうございます、学校先生。もっと、もっと、頑張んなきゃ。いや。<笑>あ、ah, あ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、ああ、Actually, speaking of Luna Senpai, um, she kind of, she kind of inspired me to get, um, get a, let's say, electric. Well, she has a, a, a what was it called? Elect, electron? Electron? But I, I wanna, I wanna practice, uh, piano again. <laughs> But then, like, I feel I feel bad because, like, I tried guitar, but it's so difficult. At least I know how to play piano a little bit. Um, but I want to get a keyboard, yeah, and hook it up to the PC. But yeah, she's so good with it. Like, I really enjoy watching her. Uh, like, John Steen. Oh, Tomaton. <laughs> oh, yeah, yesterday I actually, for the UMIC club, I prepared my recorder just in case, you know, I got a chance to play. But I didn't get to. <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to still need a k o s e n p a i but I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, I like playing random musical instruments. I might not master them, but I just like playing them casually. I think that also includes、uh, piano as well.、Hmm. I wonder how, what the copyright is when it comes to like, what if I buy like, you know,、uh, like a music, music like sheet book and like play it on stream? I probably can't monetize it, but I wonder if it's okay to be archived. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to ask. But, yeah. <laughs> Depends on the copyright. Play classical. It's all public domain. Ah. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. Sana was doing a classical music、uh, listen along with their horoscope、uh, yesterday. Or I guess earlier this morning. Hmm. That was really cool. How, like, each zodiac sign would have their、uh, own classical music. <laughs> And the thing about classical music is that、um, I don't know the title or like the composer a lot, but when I listen to it, it's like something I know. Yeah.、Mm -hmm. Those are nice. <laughs> Hiya, it's been amazing. To watch you for a year, I have to say that you have been the taco to our dachi, the ten to our tentacle, the pun to our punchline. <laughs> We taco dachi love you for making our days brighter. And you for making my day brighter. Yeah. <laughs>、mm -hmm. I think a lot of classic songs, like when I was little, Mama Nis would play them on the radio without, like, um, without, you know, Knowing t i t l e to it. <laughs> so it's like engraved in my brain, but I just don't、um, know the title of the composer. Stuff like. Like. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. bum. <laughs> you guys know that one? <laughs> well, there's one that I know a lot of because I.、Um, You know, uh. Divani. That one I know a lot. The season, the four seasons. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yes, the whatever is the new. <laughs> exactly, exactly. 
Thank you for lowering my IQ with the recorder. I set my drink out. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, let's play a little song for your brain, so... go and edit the um the shark dunk tank and the carnival so that um has to have a direct hit for the signal to travel enough to dunk them i guess right now it's a little too easy so i might have to um adjust it a little bit <laughs> minecraft gorilla i need sleep <laughs> i need sleep but um I do wanna... I do wanna... Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. I'm kind of in the... After... After the Umi's D collab too, like... I felt really bad yesterday. Um, <laughs> I feel like I didn't do as well as I did. You know, being a normal human, uh, operating in the waters is very... Very difficult. Um, <laughs> uh, but... Uh, yeah. I know they, they did... Uh, I did a lot to prepare for it, but I feel like I could have done better. I was, uh, the lag didn't help me yeah. out. It's really laggy on the GP server. I assume, like, since, um, the Holo EN server is also probably, uh, moderated by the same people, like, it'd be that, but, um, yeah. I think I disconnected once and, like, my stream dropped once as well. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm also nervous in front of, like, the senpais, you know? Like, I really wanted to collab with them uh, from before, and, uh... You know, I wanna be... I wanna be, like, a dependable, you know... Dependable kohai. <laughs> but, um... I think I froze up a little bit, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Hmm. Yeah, there was a lot of, like, but... I feel like I could've done better. Uh, if I had... If I had, uh... If I had... If only, if only we connected the EN server on time, I feel like I could have helped out a lot more too. <laughs> With the preparations and, and stuff. Mm. Yeah. It's the pink! <laughs> Maybe. We still did great. Well... It was, it was still fun, it was still fun. <laughs> I think the part of the, um... Uh, part of the, uh, scuff is, uh... Part of the fun for some of the collapse, but it is scary when it's happening like, uh, like during the stream. Yeah, <laughs> cause um, cause like you want you know you want everything to go very smoothly during the stream, but yeah, you get more practice and the servers get connected. Maybe maybe we can re re challenge Ocean Monument in the EN server because I don't think. Um, any of them have been found or been finished um, on the EN server, only like the smaller temples maybe, but uh, definitely it'll be fun to do on the EN server as well. Hmm. Like for me, I'm like the type to prepare like every possible outcome for the... the uh... Every possible outcome for a situation, right? <laughs> I'm very prepared. <laughs> so, yeah. What is a resource server? Oh, so, so a resource server is like basically a different server from the, their main server where they have all the buildings in the GP server. Um, and um, that's where they go to like gather like a whole bunch of uh, uh, materials and uh, like a. Uh, like rare materials and stuff, you know, only you can only find so much like within one server, within like a good radius of stuff, right? Yeah. They're like a yeah, appended maps to the main one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where they get the new updates too. 
Another world to explain. <laughs> if you put it that way, that sounds very yamai. <laughs> Once both servers are connected, the EN server will have no more uses for farms, right? I mean, we can... I mean, technically, if you think about it, um, it takes time to go back and forth between the servers. So, you know, maybe we still use the uh, EN server side of things. Hmm. Yeah. Another end to gather elytra as well. Yeah, something like that too. For the rare stuff that doesn't, you know, like just randomly respawn and stuff. So, yeah, and there is lag in the uh, GP server as well. Especially, I feel like I don't think. I don't think I have that much lag on the EN server. Not that, like, really, really noticeable one. But, yeah. Use the elytra to find elytra. It's kind of dangerous though, but we'll try. What's gonna happen to the current inventory? I believe the EN um girls will will probably like every anyone on the EN server who wants to keep the inventory will probably keep it. Um and then we'll probably somehow we'll probably lose the stuff on the JP side, but we'll get stuff back on the EN side. If there's stuff that um actually I think it works like um we it works like the time we transfer over from the um the realms to the server like we just put everything in the chest like take all our equipment off put it in the chest and then we'll connect it and then we can keep everything hmm. yeah mm -hmm. so like everything we have on hand we'll lose it but um everything we put in the chest we'll probably be able to get it back yeah I'm kind of looking forward to see if, like, Pekora senpai will do anything on the EN server. <laughs> I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's like... It's like seeing, like, a... Like, an engineer at work, you know? Like, you can watch and get... Get ideas. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, what about the Ender chest, actually? That's a good question. Um... Probably put it in normal chest to be safe, I guess. Take everything out of the ender chest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That works the same as your own inventory. Ah, okay. And the chest is character data. Yeah, I feel like Ender Chest might be just tied to whichever uh, server you're on because I don't think... I don't think um, it'll be connected like once I'm there. I don't know. Maybe. Not sure. We'll see how it is. Uh, I think I'm gonna put them... Uh, put Take stuff out of the Ender Chest just in case. Maybe... Maybe I should... Um, what's it? Test it out, put an item in the ender chest, but like take the precious stuff out of it just to see how it works. <laughs> and now see if it's also in the JP ender chest as well. Yeah. Mm hmm. Just to be safe, it's an experiment. A mad scientist experiment. I'll put a live salmon in there. Raw salmon. <laughs> Test subject number one is gonna... Gonna go in the ender chest. Our test subject. <laughs> they're, they're born for a reason. They're, they're captured for a reason. For science. <laughs> they were... They're still alive last time I checked. So I believe they need to go. <laughs> they need to go. The first salmon in void. <gasps> Void salmon. Okay, if if they make it out alive, I shall name them properly. <laughs> if that salmon makes it out alive, it shall give shall be gifted a proper name for its valiant efforts. The void salmon. <laughs> oh, I should name it I should name the salmon Suzaku. If it survived the trip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It has multiple meanings. It's a... Sunaku, like the... Ko, called Gias. But also Suzaku, like the... Uh, like the... Like the Phoenix Suzaku, you know? If they survive the trip that could have killed them... They are indeed... A Phoenix at heart. Therefore... Yeah. Shall be Suzaku. <laughs> Multi-layered meaning pun. Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> and therefore, if he survives the trip, then Suzaku will be at soup. <laughs> the joke will be complete. <laughs> uh. Yep. That's right. <laughs> it's all connected. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Anyways. I think um today was supposed to be a very Kyoki no Mato Scientist Ina Ina Ina. <laughs> and it's like Konguru. Actually, did you guys see that um a new Black Rock shooter anime was announced? The key visual was so cool. Sasuga Huke Papa. Hmm hmm hmm. Really looking forward to it. Looks so good. I'm so excited. When was the last time the anime was released? Was that in like 2009? When was that? Google. Tell me. Black. When was that? 20... 2012! That's almost... That's like basically almost 10 years. <laughs> almost 10 years. Wait. <laughs> so you know the you know the character um Takanashi Yomi. Uh same same last name as Kiara. Didn't realize she was voiced by uh Sashiro Miyuki san. <laughs> There's some big names voicing uh voicing the characters. I never realized back then. Like for uh, Kuroi Mato, Black Rock Shooter was Hanazawa Kanazan. Dead Master was Takanashi Yomi was Sawashiro Miyuki san. Ooh! And Cherry was Kitamura Eri san. Yeah. Hasumi Kanazan. Mm hmm. Noto Mamiko san. Big name. <laughs> It was before they were big. I mean, they were still pretty big back then. <laughs> I wouldn't say they were like no names or anything. They were pretty big names for quite a while. <laughs> At least in my heart. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they were pretty big back then too, so... Looking forward to the reboot. <sighs> if it, would it be a reboot or just like a whole new spin-off series? Probably a whole, whole new... Uh, uh, what's it? Oh, not a reboot, but like a... Spin-off series? I wonder if it'll be related to the previous one, but... <laughs> yeah. Adaptation. I know they also had a... Had a video game. I wanted to play that before, but I never owned a... PSP? Was it the PSP? The new one is based on the PSP game story. Oh! That means I will be, actually finally be able to... Um... Learn what happened in the game. <laughs> 
I need a PSP game because I think it was 1OK Rock that did the like the theme music for it. Uh, that's how I first found out about 1OK Rock. Yeah, through Black Rock Shooter. Actually, through Black Rock Shooter is how I learned about Vocaloid in the first place. And then I learned about 1OK Rock from them too. Yeah. <laughs> this is nostalgic times. <laughs> it's all coming together, yes. Yeah. Like Supercell, like uh Melt, Black Rock Shooter is how I got into uh like uh Vocal Line. My favorite style is key. Yes, that's I Konguru. <laughs> I should learn to sing the opening for Steinsky. I really like that. I really like the opening songs for the anime too. You know, um... Do -do -do. <laughs> yeah, uh, what's it? Uh... Actually, when I first started watching Steinsky... Um, I was like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. And then I think... When was it? That it got like start like really really building up. Was it like episode? It it's using it wasn't the three three episode rule. It was like episode eight or nine or ten somewhere in the middle. It really picked up and I was like, oh, this is good. <laughs> it's so good. At first I was like, eh, I don't know. Like people recommend it, but I'm not too sure. But then like I was like, oh. I think that was actually similar to the uh, Bake Monogatari series where um, I first... I think I talked about this before, but I first watched the anime and I was like, what is this? Because, <laughs> you know, when you first go into it without any context, it's a very unique style, you know, the Shaft... Shaft uh, animation style. Um, you don't get it, but... <laughs> At first, I was like, why is there so many... Text just like flashing by on the screen. I can't read this. <laughs> but then like I watched or not watched, I read the novel and I was like, this is good. <laughs> this is good. And then I rewatched the anime. I was like, oh, I get it now. I get it. It clicked. And it was really good. Yeah. It's history from then on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Zetsuo Sensei. Actually, I haven't watched all of Zetsuo Sensei. I watched quite a bit of it, but... Uh, and that's the same author as uh, Kakushikoto. I really enjoyed Kakushikoto, though. I really like that kind of like... Uh, kind of style. Mm. I should probably go watch it then, Zetsuo Sensei. Isn't there also a different anime as well? Ta Tatami Galaxy? <laughs> you know, you know what else I want more, um, more like anime adaptations of is the. Uh, I talked about this before. I definitely did. The Zarekoto series. I want more. <laughs> I want more, please, Shaft. I really enjoyed it. Ah. I got. I wish more people watched it so we get more, more adaptations. The music is just so good. But ah, Shaft is busy with Madoka again. I mean, I always, always, always accept more Madoka, but. <laughs> but yeah, it's really good. Mm. <gasps> Speaking of which, isn't Star Wars uh, Visions airing soon? Like in less than a week? In a couple of days? One day? Within the week. I'm really looking forward to it. 22nd, right? <laughs> I can't wait. 
Can't wait. <sighs> it looks really good. I like Star Wars. <laughs> Actually, I I think I watched like one Star Wars video on YouTube about about like lightsaber colors, and then all of a sudden, like <laughs> all of a sudden, I have so much like Star Wars related recommendations on my feed now. <laughs> Inakin. <laughs> oh yeah. I didn't know like the color of the like the lightsabers like meant like different uh rules, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the young tacos, no. <laughs> it's over Inakin. High off the high ground. <laughs> mm-hmm. You are the chosen one, Inakin. <laughs> ah, but yeah. Anyways, I didn't know there was like a yellow lightsaber too. Cause I know there's like a blue one and a green one and a red one. I was like, whoa. That looks cool. Oh yeah, isn't there isn't there one game where they you can like fight as the Star Wars characters like Battlefront? Question mark? Oh yeah, and there's purple ones too, yeah. I was watching watching people fight with their lightsabers. <laughs> it it looked interesting, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the yellow one. Apparently it's like it's like there's like the one one color of the of the Jedi's who like like uh want to study the force. And there's like another one that like like to uh like to train I guess and then like the yellow is like the the, the mix of the two and like I don't know. <laughs> it's it's all too much for me to for me to uh digest. All at once. There's a lot of lore behind the Star Wars franchise, I believe. Yellow is the temple guard. Yeah, that's what, that's what I learned. Yeah. What would I be? What would I be? Would I be... Would I be blue? Purple? What's purple? What color is purple? What does purple mean? Purple cellulite? <laughs> actually, actually, didn't... Wasn't there like a... Like a thing where... They, where... Where uh, he like... He like asked like... If he could have the purple one just... Just for having purple. Purple it is. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and they let him. Purple is a mix of blue and red. Technically, yes. Oh, <gasps> maybe that is it. The duality of taco. Red and blue. Yeah. <laughs> I am the good and the bad. Say so into. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you know when when I was uh, playing uh, what's it, um, Bastion, and you guys were like, can't spell violet without violet. I was like, violent is like violet int, Vi violent. Get it? <laughs> violet is say so. Violent is not. Ha. <sighs> I mean, it fits, it fits. <laughs> Violent. <laughs> you would have a yellow lightsaber, I believe, because you're powerful, calming, and inspiring. Or, oh, I guess, you know what? My color scheme uh, also fits 
yellow. I'm kind of orange yellow. It's because I'm purple and yellow. Yeah. Purple and orange. Orange yellow. Yellow is orange. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe. Dual wield. <gasps> Dual wield purple and yellow. That's right. Purple is cooler. <laughs> But you will this cooler than just one, you know? If purple is cool, yellow is cool, why not you will? That can be Kirito. <laughs> I can be the Kirito of the Star Wars world. Yeah. You know what's cooler than two lightsabers? Four lightsabers. I can have one of each color. <laughs> Like general green knives. <laughs> I tried, I tried. <laughs> there was an effort. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I get ten. <gasps> Technically, I can carry ten lightsabers. Right. <laughs> I'll just I'll just walk into the lightsaber shop and like, can I can I get ten lightsabers, please? <laughs> Fine addition to my collection. <laughs> oh my god, you guys have so many lightsabers in your hands. You guys can only hold eight though. You guys only have eight. I have I have my human hands. You guys don't. I mean unless unless I've been seeing some uh questionable Takodachi fan art as of late. I don't know what has caused this to appear. I've been seeing them around. Hmm. <laughs> uh, <Tekodachi. laughs> oh, I got a, I got a good laugh. <laughs> uh, actually, someone put something from the uh, episode three with the Tekodachi and it fit too well. I'm just like, no, no. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, no. <laughs> Ah. Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, that's about it. Ah, well, today is supposed to be a pretty, pretty short stream, so I think I'll probably wrap up around here. I know we talked about quite a bit of random stuff, a little bit of stuff that happened in the weeks prior. Uh, exactly what I wanted to do. Yeah. I didn't get enough sleep. <laughs> uh, you know when there's like the like the angel and devil on your on your shoulder going, like, hey, no, hey, no, you should do this. No, you should do that. No, you should do this. You should do that. Um, when I woke up this morning, I was like, oh, I'm so tired. Should I stream? Should I postpone it? And the and the, and the devil side was like, no, you know, you should you should go to bed. Go back to bed. Tell them. Tell them you'll stream later. And the angel was like, No, Ina, you shouldn't. You already reserved the stream. It's too late. You should get up. Get up right now. Get up. <laughs> and so I had, to, I had to listen to the angel say, Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes the uh, angel side is a little, uh, little scary. <laughs> Anyways. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of chat stream. Uh, yeah. Until next time, which is gonna be... Well, for members, it's gonna be on Sunday. We're gonna watch Back to the Future. I actually haven't watched Back to the Future. I don't think. I only heard about the references, but I haven't actually watched the full movie. Not that I remember. Unless I watched it when I was, like, really little. But I doubt I forget movies that I watched, so... Looking forward to it. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So.
So, and then on the Monday? Early morning Monday, it's gonna be chess with, uh... Chess with Ollie. That's right. I shall learn some chess. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very, very, very much for tuning in today. I hope you have... You guys have a wonderful rest of the morning, after the evening. Thank you all for the super chats. And thank you all for, uh... Keeping me company while I go on a tangent about a whole bunch of stuff. Like Fruit Loops. I didn't talk about Fruit Loops. We can talk about Fruit Loops. Fruit Loops later. <laughs> okay, until then. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As we say. Bye-bye.